Yo, did you catch this flashback? What's the problem with your natural teeth? Uh, they're not white. And yeah. I'm missing the front tooth. Yeah. Oh, you're missing a front tooth. Right. So, and he's going to put like a tooth behind one of them. So it's extra for that. But but in know. the meantime, you have your red carpet smile. Yeah, I'm so happy. I can't wait. Good for you. Congratulations. You know, Thanks. the teeth are the window to the soul. Oh, yeah. Got it. This is it right here. <laughs> miss a day. Miss a whole lot. Coming through your speakers, boy. It's windy, man. Yep. She was listening to the show when we had Dr. Jeff Golub Evans on with his red carpet smile. Shout out to Dr. Jeff and his whole office up on 71st Street. So, here we go. Dear Wendy, I need your advice on a situation. My name is Kendra. I'm 29 years old and I have two beautiful kids with my husband of five years, Anthony. Wendy, my husband is my best friend and vice versa, and everything was going well in my life until I checked the mailbox just this afternoon. This is this afternoon and went through my mail and I saw an envelope addressed to my husband from a paternity test center. I opened the envelope and was shocked. It read that he's the father of a five month old little girl. Oh! Again, Wendy, I was shocked and I dropped the paper and started to cry. My marriage seemed so perfect. Um, and uh, I thought, I never thought of my husband as cheating on me and getting another woman pregnant. I found myself asking, what have I done to make him go astray? I couldn't find one answer. Wendy. My husband is going to be home at 4.30 this afternoon. And as soon as he steps foot in the door, I'm going to go off on him unless I come up with a calm way of going about approaching him. Do you have any suggestions on what I should do or say before I start whooping his ass? <laughs> you know what? There are some women... Who, after the initial shock and the reminded realization that they have a household with two kids and, you know, this is their husband for better, for worse, yada, yada, yada. Who can, after the initial shock, put up with this situation? There are other women that this is an absolute deal breaker on the marriage. You probably have never thought about what you would do if your husband produced a child out of your marriage. I don't know. Maybe you have. My suggestion is that at 430, you don't be in the house. And being that it's Thursday, I say pack a weekend bag. Where's this coming from? The 212. Mm-hmm. And head to some nondescript town in Connecticut or New Jersey. Or if you're financial, buy a ticket and go to Miami for the weekend. By yourself. To sit around the pool and really think. And don't return until Mother's Day. Or Monday. Or, sat or Saturday night. And when you return... You will be all sorted out because right now you're too volatile to even approach him with this. <clears throat> I wouldn't even let him know that you have the letter. I would want to have the majority of it sorted out in my own head because I can't obviously control what he's doing. But I can control what I'm doing and how I'm going to react. And at this point, Since you haven't mentioned divorce in here, you've mentioned ass kick. That's that's really not going to get you all anywhere. You know what I mean? Um, and then the kids are going to be home tonight. And then they're going to be going crazy. It's best that you, is, does, your, does your mom, does anybody live around who can, you know, pitch hit and, you know, help them out with the kids and stuff? Don't tell them about what all's going on. My Just my opinion. This is not a time to go to Miami with a girlfriend and have her ooh challenge with you around the pool. This is not the time to call your parents and have them worry to death. If you're blessed enough to have parents who care about you, this will absolutely have your parents worried about you to death. And being that you're 29 and you've been married for five years, you're a grown woman. He doesn't give us more than we can handle. 
You can handle this. But I emphasize you, not your girlfriends, not your mom or your sister at this particular point. Sure, tell them uh, as soon as you get back. You might even want to place a phone call to your, your, your sister or your mom while you're down there. But not until the end of your trip after you've sorted it out. Just so that nobody thinks that you're missing or killed someplace, you know. You need to <clears throat> pack your bags right now. And you've got 44 minutes. Pack your bags. Call him from the cell phone, whatever. And then, and don't tell him anything. And don't see any kind of angry. Just, you know, yeah, you found out some news. Don't tell him what the news is. Take the note with you. Take to, Don't let him have a chance to plot and scheme while you're gone. Just let him know you found some news and and you, you're, you know. I would take a few days. I would take a few days and, and really sort out my life in my head before I even approach him. Because kicking his ass doesn't do anything. It only breaks your nails. Mm. And your next man will probably love a perfect 10. So therefore, and, and eating a cheesecake doesn't do anything except for widen your hips, you know, in, in anger and stress. You know, you overeat. And, and you need that body to rock the next man. If that's the way you're going to roll. If not, and you're planning on staying with your man. See, that's why to me, you need, you need to fall back and go someplace. And, and be by yourself, absolutely by yourself, with tranquility, so you can think clearly. Think about your kids, think about your marriage, think about what you want. And kids don't save marriages, by the way. It's the parents that save marriages. So please, um, the one thing I can, can say to you is don't say you're staying for the sake of the kids. You know? Um, so I wish you well, uh, Kendra. And, you know... I'm taking opinions from you guys, too, who are listening. Like, like, what do you think she should do? She has now got 42 minutes before he walks in the door. See, I'd be packing my Louis roller right now. I wouldn't even call the airline. I'd just go with my credit card and, and buy the next ticket to wherever. You know what I'm saying? For a few days. If possible, you might want to scoop your kids up. Take them with you. I wish you well. We'll talk. It's windy, man. My boss came into my office, and uh, he basically brushed up against me with his penis. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So I, I don't know what. Well, how can I? How should I handle that situation? <laughs> the Wendy Williams experience.